What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarus. And this is Space Sweepers, a Korean sci-fi epic that uh, I have never heard about. No, me, me, me neither. Until, and we're disclosing this for legal reasons, uh, Dexter Studios, who did the CGI, reached out and were like, we want you to react to this on your channel. We will pay you. We're like, hell yeah, let's do it. But we were, <laughs> no, well, no, no. We were like, you know that we are known for being honest. Right. And that we, that like our integrity matters. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. They they believe so much in their product that they were like, yeah, we get that. Be honest, mm -hmm. but we want you to do this. And we're like, okay, sounds good. We right. will. Uh, there is a reason why I think they are so confident. Mm. Uh, they did the CGI for Parasite. Oh, okay, uh, which was one okay. of the movies they're like, you could do this one. I've seen Parasite. It is one of the greatest movies ever made. I know. I should have reacted to it. Like, uh, And uh, Korean entertainment is putting out some of the best storytelling in the world right now. Mm. And some of the most lauded. Uh, not just Parasite, which I think is perfect. Uh, we recently reacted to Train to Busan on this channel. Right. Which is uh, also a perfect movie. Uh, and Squid Game is arguably the biggest television show of the 2000s. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, it yeah. actually might be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like in terms of the, the the moment that it had and I think the cultural impact of it and, you know, now that they, there's a whole, they, Mr. Beast recreated Squid Game. Yep. And then Netflix, Netflix recreated Squid Game. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. everybody is recreating Squid Game because it, it just is living in this larger space. And I think that the Korean entertainment scene is creating art unlike any other place at the moment. Yeah. And so I'm really excited to watch Space Sweepers from 2021 with you right now. Yeah, me too. If you want that full-length reaction, go to patreon.com slash nerdy nightly and go text out go check out Dexter Studios and all the things that they're doing. Thank mm -hmm. you for commissioning this. Uh you crazy, crazy folks over there. We appreciate it. Hope was extinct. The earth was still breathing, but it was on life support. Wow. This funny thing is that's like sci-fi, but that's the same thing we went through going through customs yesterday. You know what I mean? Pretty much. Like we're kind of already there in some weird ways. Mm-hmm. Wow. The only place left to go was up. Damn. To the notoriously habitable space. <laughs> it's either that or die. <laughs> we have just entered GTS governed interplanetary space. Welcome to the orbit. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yo. I was like, oh, it's gonna be a little space station. I thought they were like trying to get to the moon, but they like live around the planet. Yeah. That's such an interesting concept. It's like Jetsons, but you know, 30,000 kilometers up. Oh! <laughs> Mars could never. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're watching The Expanse right Just now. Crapping on Bobby. He's the wealthiest man in the world as well as the oldest Which at world? 152 years old. Ladies and gentlemen. And I, yeah, they're not in the world anymore. Mr. James Sullivan. I was kind of expecting it to be like almost all Koreans, but there's a really interesting diversity. It's, it's just humanity, yeah. Yeah, that tells the story of like the translators really well and. Yeah, oh. it would be a white guy. <laughs> You know he didn't invent anything. He's just the billionaire who owned it. Produces eight times more oxygen than unmodified strains. Mm, damn. Responding rather well to natural fertilizer. The... He sounds like Sean Bean. Yeah. At UTS, we have been carefully cultivating life on Mars using the tree of life, the super plant. Look, I will be the first to admit that our Eden is not perfect yet. But I would happily have a deeper conversation with you about this. Oh, shh. Space debris. Ooh, that looks sick as fuck! So it's a satellite. Probably came from the Lagrangian point. I'm so impressed with the motion of this shot. Yeah. Like, there's not... The, the things on screen aren't moving very fast, but the movement of the camera makes it seem like they are. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Warning, it's coming. <laughs> Vic 
victory. Oh, is it the, are they about to steal the hall? Step on me, mommy. <laughs> 0.8 G's. Magnetic compensation 1.2 G's. Shikona, Shikona. They're trying to get the other way. That seems dangerous. I'm so impressed right now. This is like, yeah, it's so chaotic, but it's 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 pretty clear. Yeah, I know exactly what's going on. Yeah. Also, I want his jacket so freaking badly. <laughs> this robot, it has drip. It's also like the camera is shaky, but it doesn't feel unwatchable. Yeah. Which I think is really impressive. Also like special effects scar makeup over a tattoo. Mm-hmm. Ballsy. You are seriously going to take everything? <laughs> this is the like most life and death rock and sock and robots game I've ever seen. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. That's the waste management. Jesus Christ. It's the, the Death Star, but trash. But for trash, yeah. So it's the Death Star. Is this what um Manhattan looks like underneath? <laughs> this is Manhattan in 2092. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I kind of get why they would, like, be honest. The Wait. company, they're like, no, 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 yeah, you can be honest. Yeah, have fun. They know this looks great. Wow. That shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just showing off. Yeah, right? Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love this robot so much. I know. <laughs> like, what an expensive shot for just them chilling outside the ship. I know. I'm obsessed with the lighting on the side of the robot's head. Yeah, yeah. Like, that is so well done. Yeah. <laughs> well, there I you love go. this robot. If you all died, I would transfer the ship to me and I'd be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Well then. <laughs> this is like a fun, like, mix of like Guardians of the Galaxy and Firefly. Oh, okay. You I know like what I mean? That. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That shot, the CGI robot behind the CGI, like, fuck. Yeah. But they're charming. Oh my God, she's a druid warforged. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm assuming she's a large key of like their colony on Mars. Is she the 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 seed? 
the oh the tree the oh my god the the alpha seed or the power seed the, or the he said a thing yeah he, he I swear he said like tree of life and then sure maybe that's her maybe <laughs> all right we have a new hustle all right. We sell the okay. magic fruit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is an entrepreneur in the making. Let's go. She's so good. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I, I, feel, I feel you there. Um, we but, are in no tomato household. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never seen someone eat a tomato like that. <laughs> I... So she's not a robot. Yeah. No, I don't think she is. I think she was actually a kid that yeah. was turned into a Dorothy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, wow. He's got crazy kind eyes. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's just like an earnestness there that's just fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, it's so sad, but it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, he worked for him, like, directly. Damn, okay. Teho, were you not saving anything? You gotta have, like, a Roth IRA, a 401k. My dude. I don't know if that's how that works in this I world. <laughs> it's interesting that even the poorest people have translators in this world. Like, yeah. that technology is just so ubiquitous that... No, no, no. You have to pay. Oh. shot yeah i project about three years for her to completely vacate the orbit after three years she'll be gone forever zero chance of recovery he's not even looking to see if she's alive he's just trying to find her body <laughs> wow that's that's awful jesus can we do something else? <laughs> the xylophone down the stair. <laughs> Suddenly it's home alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just put up here. I have expected him to turn and be like, liar, I don't smell a dump. <laughs> He's the guy with a robot mask on, he can't smell. No, 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 no! <laughs> oh. God damn it. I, I love the story they're telling of James Sullivan being this like eco purist mm -hmm. that is so like, <laughs> but he's such a purist that he's like will let earth die to get rid of the people who killed earth yeah 
Who's K-O-R-S-H-7901, victory. And like that he believes in like this like genetic supremacy. Yeah, that there's morals in your DNA. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, no. Fuck. I love the design of the soldiers. Yeah. Like the different kind of antennas they have on the back and... That man gave me a tomato! Bridge D4. Let's go, boy! D6. Chasing. Like, they are uniform, but they have some differences to them that make them really cool. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Let's go, Bobs! Yeah! Come on, boy! Girl, sorry! Oh my god. Wow. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, that was close. You want to see me? I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you. Can the nanobots protect the ship? <laughs> that's, I think that's what those like red dots are. No, that's the, the debris field. Yeah, but the red dots, she, when they opened up her, I don't know. Oh, they're bad nanobots. Yeah. Can she like turn them? She must be able to. She's got to hack the nanobots. <gasps> oh God, yeah. She's gonna open her eyes and be like, oh, I can fix this. I know, right? Why did you tell me to close my eyes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. I don't know, the red was a cool look. <laughs> the red is pretty cool, but the red also was trying to eat them, so. Also, gold is my favorite color, so. <laughs> Watch out! Evasive maneuvers! Oh, fuck. God. I fucking love this movie. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Specs are currently aboard the spaceship Victory, plate number KOR 79. Oh, my God. That got me. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> Is there a Space Sweepers 2? He's like, my woman! <laughs> That's a great speech. I love this movie. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my kids this was The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> okay, let's go. This looks amazing. I know. Like, I this movie 
it feels like it should be two hundred million dollars. Well, and, and I know it was. I, you know what? I'm just gonna look it up. I love that. Like they're not. And everybody's there. Nice. I love that they're not hiding stuff with the, like grunge or like like darkness. Like there's color in this. No, there everything's is vibrancy. Lit. All of the CGI is lit yeah. extremely well. Yeah, and the lighting is consistent across ships. Yeah, which is so hard to do. Yeah, you're so. Yeah, right. it looks so good. I love that she like fucked all of them over probably at some point and they all showed up anyway. <laughs> yeah. Get it! The budget movie was about 21 million US dollars. That's insane. It looks so good. Well, damn. Clever. Mierda! They're gonna have a lot more space. To <laughs> They're like, we're coming back here tomorrow, guys. We're gonna make some money on this one. Right? The choice to have all the languages is so smart. Yeah. <laughs> Attack drones are battling. What a shot. Right now. Who cares if a billion lives are lost? Who cares if a billion lives are lost? She did it. Yeah, she did. She fucking did it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Come on, Teo, you got this. It's Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Literally. <laughs> I have you now. <laughs> Whoa. It's a ship slash mech fly. What? His ship is really cool, though. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! No one did it. Oh, that was No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on, Jack, you got this! Where is she? are expected to die on Earth if the factory falls. Unfortunately, defusing is no longer an option. Yeah, because your savior is a psychopath! <laughs> Sequel. <laughs> no. Why? I did everything. 
now. Fuck you, dude. God damn it. exploded in outer space. The factory did not fall. Earth has survived. All the people on Eden would have like, oh God, we would have had to feel really guilty about that. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe they're dead. Because they flew through. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> well played. Well fucking played. <laughs> of relief! The understatement of the fucking year! Yeah. <laughs> I love her! Who is that guy? He said, Idio, caught him in the casino gambling away your money. Bubs! We do know that for that one moment, you and Suni will be connected. And Dorothy will be your medium. We're synced. <laughs> oh my god. This is Suni. At this exact moment. Departed the orbit at seventeen forty two hours, September third, twenty ninety two. Jesus Christ. Sonen Juro, Paladre Sigaburjo. What on your go? Papello, Sigam Soriga Tua. I credit the Colaba, Castle Mosu to such an obsonica. Yeah, you are. Wow! What a cool shot! That's sick. How is he keeping those clean? He has a new pair every day. 
Yeah, they're probably rich now, right? <laughs> Done. Oh, it's the Matrix. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh Jesus. The well scene done. where he gets to talk to his daughter again <laughs> fucking broke me. <laughs> rude. Fucking rude. Whew. You know what I like? It just that broke me. I I can't. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh my, just, I'm just like leaking water right now. Hot. Um, oh my God. Yeah. I thought, I, I, I really thought they died. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm <laughs> yeah, sad. Yeah. I was like, And I was like, oh, I'm not going to cry that hard. And then. The <laughs> <laughs> it's because they like one, two, yeah, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah, Like yeah. you're like, oh, they're dead. And then they fucking like knock you out with they the. It's daddy it, daughter stuff. You get the adrenaline going yeah. in the like happy part I know. so that your blood's pumping. So when it's sad again, everything's moving and suddenly it's just tears. Tears. Yeah. Dexter, everyone uh, at the CGI team, I got to say thank you for um, being so confident in your own work that you <laughs> asked us to do this. Because you're right. This movie is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's and I, I'm so glad that we watched it. Yeah. Like, I, like, you know, who knows if I ever would have, like, seen this. There's so many things on Netflix that yeah. it can be really overwhelming. And everything, right? There's so many streaming services now. It's so hard to find good stuff. Yeah. And this movie is so good. Yeah. It just, it's so good. I love the characters. I love the world building. Yeah. I love the, like, narr the, the plot and the narrative around, like, what it is trying to say. Is the bad guy, a, like, a, a little broad? Yeah, but it's because the movie's trying to get at something really, like, intentional yeah yeah and for sure the, the 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 bond between these characters is so strong that like i just yeah i'm so in awe of it i love this movie like i legitimately like and i was so worried because i was like if we are commissioned and i'm sitting here like thank <laughs> like, you for your money but yeah. this was awful yeah i would have done it don't get me wrong i would have and maybe we wouldn't have released it i don't know how that would have i don't know how that would have gone down yeah but i have, have no problem it. being like look the the cgi company commissioned us to watch this movie. It is also maybe the best, one of the best movies I've seen this year. I'm, re I'm really hoping like, uh, like we can get more people to watch the movie, which I guess is like the point of commissioning it. Oh, I, I, I am, know, but like, becoming, I just want to go to the discord and be like, guys, we actually watched yeah. a sick fucking movie. Like I'm going to become the prophet of this movie and I will spread the message of space sweepers. I love it. Th like this is going on my shelf with like the star Wars and the like, the, 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 I, it is on that level of sci-fi for me. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? I it's fun. It. It's emotional. The characters rock. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is so sick. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. Like, I'm so sad. My face hurts from crying. Yeah. My nose is a little bit. I need to go blow my nose. We need to have tissues in this room at all times. Honestly, what are we that doing? is a mistake. We cry in this room so often and we don't have tissues. Yeah. I love this movie so much. Yeah, well done. Well done. Everyone who made this, thank you. Thank you for this gift. This truly was a Christmas present to me. Yes. Uh, and I hope to you as well. Yes. Dexter Studios was kind enough to provide us with a little behind the scenes on the layers of how the CGI was made uh, in their incredible studio as they kind of built these IPs from the ground up. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to check out some of that because th this whole video is just about how amazing they are, uh, <laughs> ultimately, and about this incredible movie they've made. So why not just shower them with more praise and throw them some more flowers at the end here? I'm just, I'm, I'm curious. I always love the like, how we did it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited for this. Let's dive into this VFX reel for Space Sweepers, brought to you by Dexter Studios, the people who brought to you this video. Ready? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm-hmm. Are you ready, ready? Yes. Okay. That's Dexter Studios. I was just talking about them. Wow. <laughs> That's the ship from the movie. That is the ship. I'm this living or wow. That's fun. Okay, so that was practical. None of that was practical, apparently. Oh, damn. <laughs> wow. Oh, he didn't have a green screen oh. suit on. That's interesting. Huh. Wait, 
wait, wait, wait, wait. Those guys weren't practical? I'm so confused. Oh, wow, okay. I did not realize that. Wow. It's pretty sick. I would watch the whole movie re-edited with the CGI changing to show like the different phases of it. This is incredible. <laughs> I'm impressed with the way they edited this. I know, right? <laughs> They did a really cool job. Yeah. That ship design, mwah. Yeah, very cool. The bad guy. It's interesting that they almost, like, I don't know a lot about VFX, but th it looks they're almost like clay that they like mold in 3D. Oh no, yeah. It, it's so funny. It looks like the 3D models I used to print out of our resin printer. Oh yeah, 100%. Okay, the one that I have to talk about, that I absolutely have, this is, insane the fact that this is not that this is a completely cgi yeah go because it's go yeah so this person that's all he was wearing and there's no green dots there's no, no like face dots no every time i've done motion capture for a film mm -hmm. i've always had to do the dots yeah i've never seen this before or like um uh, I worked on Men in Black 3, mm -hmm. and this, the, the like alien head thing that I was in, I don't even know how to describe it. Yeah, sure. In uh, I, Andy Warhol's party scene. Um, the, it had like markings on it, so the it like reflected light into the camera in a certain way, so that the digital stuff could like build on top of it. Oh, okay. They, there's I don't nothing see anything. here. There's a couple pieces of, of like armor on there, and like that's it. Yeah. Can you imagine being the actor on set, though, and being like, I look so dumb right now. Very and then you convenient. show up to the movie, and this is what's on screen? Yeah, it's pretty rad. I thought these guys were practical. I thought at least part of them had to be. Obviously oh, sure, screen, this, yeah, yeah. But, like, but even this, this, these lights could be practical, right? True. Like, this is, I, I have a digital alarm clock that could do this. But like what's, what amazes me is isn't like even this is the lighting is easy, right? What amazes me is this mesh pattern. Yeah. This is where I get like like this line here. Um, can you see my mouse? Yeah. This line here where this blends down from this like leathery kind of piece down mm -hmm. into the mesh here. That is so seamless. I'm amazed. Yeah. The other crazy thing for me is bubs. Like bubs is they built bubs from. Back I'm gonna bit. turn the sound off. They built bubs from. It's back. No, this shot. Oh. They they didn't they there was nothing. For that one, yeah. Like bubs is a complete composite, as opposed to when bubs is with um. When the when it's interacting with another like actor or person. I I would actually be really curious to know which one's easier. If it's easier to put bubs on top of him, or if it is easier to, to just, just build him from scratch. Yeah. Hmm. But even like question. freeze frame, like the way the fabric drapes here. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is the stuff where like, and like this, sh the, 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 I was talking about the lighting yeah. uh, in one part of the reaction. I was talking about the lighting on the robot in space. Mm -hmm. This shadow on this cord right here is where my mind goes like, how the F do you think yeah. of this? And and the like the light shining through his face, but also mm -hmm. his face being like dirty and worn. The reflection right? of, you can see the, like, look at this line of the reflection of the table where his mouth would be. Yeah. Or her mouth would be, sorry. That is, and and also a very different but same reflection of the table in the eye here. Yeah. Like, these little attention to details are so impressive. And make, uh, honestly, Bubs is my favorite character in the movie. Yeah. And that's so impressive for a fully CGI character, but it's these little details that make Bubs look, like, fully a part of the world. Yeah. Yeah. That is so cool. Uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below, but don't leave mean comments at Dexter Studios stuff because they're great. We love them. If you want to go check out Dexter Studios, there is a link in the description where you can go see everything that they're doing. Uh, go check out Yu Yu Hakusho, now on Netflix, because uh, I'm going to go check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not an endorsement of the show. I haven't seen it, um, but everyone I know who has seen it is like, it's honestly... It's really solid. Been hearing good things, yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, and the one clip I've seen of uh, the CGI, there's a CGI fight of an ogre fighting like a car door 
Mm-hmm. That's not, he doesn't fight the card door. He fights a guy and there's a card door involved. Uh, that looked great. And now that I know that that was Dexter Studios, uh, I'm even more excited to watch the show because they have good taste. If you want to follow us around the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Do something freaking nerdy tonight, you dang nerds. Bye. Thank you, Dexter Studios. Bye.